Look at Mr. Best Parked over there. Yeah, Best Park 2017. Normally by now, John is in line, we're trying to catch up to him, but it's 10 of, and nowhere to be found? I might not make it through the storm. He's like Santa predicting fog. He's like, whoa. Well, I better take off my pants and get in bed. <laughs> Even babies have made it out today at 8 in the morning. Yeah. Wait a minute, he is here, and he already got Malasadish. Checkmate, my friend. Malasadish is starting early. Yeah, yeah, so I took advantage early. There's three obelisks, and I'd like to buy at least two of them. The perhaps frustrating thing is that the two that are the same are painted in two different colors. Before the hordes. Box back onesie. We were just complimenting. Yeah, what'd you say? Um, beautiful baby. I'm absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> they thought she was a young man, possibly the youngest man here. <laughs> She's being real sleepy. Well, it is kind of early in the morning. Does that not have any effect? Uh, I, I think it does on her. She's a she's a morning kid. She's got the optimal configuration here. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> These devices were never around when I was a kid. This no. is this is a like. They had the backpack one. Yeah, she's in there. She got this baby thing down. We should date this. She is seven weeks tomorrow. Seven weeks tomorrow. Frozen themed moon bounce. It looks like there's at least two. I wonder why they put them quite so far away. So far away, in fact, that the fog is somewhat obscuring them. It's the thing about the line, Freddy. The line is kind of just an artificial construct. It's not like they're gonna file people in. Even if they did, who's gonna go for those obelisks besides me? <laughs> it's just a way to express your excitement. I guess so. These people are the most excited. Yeah. These people are incrementally less excited right. after that. Right. Madness. We have to help John secure these. Yeah, they're about 50 bucks a piece. <laughs> Five dollars a piece at oh. the church fair. Oh, I gotta oh, buy oh. these so I can get back in quick. You had your eye on those. I'm taking yes. the three, yes. I bought all three. Even if they don't match. Oh, hey, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for shopping at St. John the Baptist. We're back for another round. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> just wait to see what he's capable of. <laughs> Nice and close, John Park. Are we going to be on the news? <laughs> we on YouTube. Local Huge. hero doesn't wait in line. Eyes obelisks. Local hero inflates price of original obelisk. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I think there's a price tag on the bottom. Twenty nine ninety nine. Fantastic. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's still an excellent deal. It is. Triple obelisks in place. I still have hands free to hit John with his purchases. <laughs> Let me see. Frankie, did you see when I went for those obelisks? Someone else was coming in at an angle. Oh really? And I. Right at the obelisk? Yes. Who's gonna go for those obelisks besides me? <laughs> the section lovingly entitled Lamp. This item's 40. 40 dollars. I think one old person knows the price of these particular lights. Like it's probably like a hundred and twenty dollar lamp. <laughs> Seven weeks. <laughs> you should have seen what you had to do to get her out. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> this is the low glassware table. You can look down on all the wares. Get a good visibility. Oh. Two dollars. I don't need superfluous lamps. Somebody was trying to change their lifestyle. Oh, we fit. And various weights. They gave it up in one big container. One fell swoop. One big pot. There's a raised toilet seat down there before everybody just got those real hot toilets. A JVC camera. <laughs> Compact VHS. $25. Probably has like a twelfth of an inch sensor. My grandmother always had a lot of vases. Like you could give her flowers and she would pull out a vase for it. I like this but I don't need it. I just don't need any more vases. I have a lifetime supply, as it were. You really only need like six vases for your lifetime. Oh my goodness. But it's missing one little shot glass. These were a weird fashion thing. You put oil in a bottle and then seal it forever with some mushrooms or other weird things in it. I don't need one of these, frankly, but this is an excellent deal. Is this one of your fetishizing old space heaters things? Yes. <laughs> Two bucks. Reasonable. But now that I have not only oil heat, but the mini splits, I already have a backup heating system. I don't need no safety furnace. I also have the bathroom heater as an extra double backup. All these square vases from like wedding centerpieces. Here you go again. Here's a little flashlight. It's got leaky batteries. Otherwise I was gonna buy it for 10 cents. It's got tons of LEDs. It's probably super bright. Swing to the oldies too. Ah. VHS version. If anybody still has a VHS player. I do. <laughs> I got to kill a mockingbird. There you go. I have the old TV that I got from my daughter who's been out of college 25 years, but remember it had the... Yep. Yeah, and it was perfect for the door, right? Yeah. Small. So we There start. you go. And enjoy the kill a mockingbird. I'm looking for my lady. I see her every year. I know. I haven't seen her yet. Lots of coffee makers because everybody's moved to the Keurig. Irons of medium quality. Taking 
every year. Look at this cute snowman. Isn't that nice? See, we've lost a couple snowmen over the year from the Great Snowman Collection. So whenever I see a snowman that fits its style, I'm compelled to purchase. You know, mixed, country. This would not be compliant with the style. That's too kitsch. Look at these convenient devices. You hang your stocking on it. <laughs> I want to hang up a couple decorative stockings in my house for Christmas. A dollar is about what I'd expect to pay for them in like a retail establishment though. But I think I'm going to buy just two. I need no more than two. I would repaint him. Perhaps make him a pirate of some sort. I don't know, he's a little scary. Head is articulated. Ten bucks. Great value. That's two fifty a tray. How about a nice old fashioned quilt rack? for the foot of your bed. If it's a cold night, you get up, you pull one from the rack, you're good to go. Whoa, look at that TV tray. It looks more like a medical device. How about a $50 armoire? You needed a new armoire for your new armoire room. Cheap furniture is useful for dorm rooms? Sure. But you don't usually put an armoire in a dorm room. Maybe a, a college apartment? Mm -hmm. Sure. Maybe not an armoire. <laughs> Again. That could be good. Yeah. You know, everybody needs a table. Yeah. Maybe eat cereal at it once in a while. Throw, to... your, throw your first dinner party. Yeah. Make some kind of gourmet but, pizza for everyone. It's like if you didn't want to invest in a full organ, you could get one of these nice dealies. This is not a very stable step right here. No. You can see. <laughs> Certainly not for the elderly. No. Not for the gentler either. I don't know how I'm supposed to tackle this whole area. Well, at least now that we have a kid. Yeah, it looks somewhat legitimate. Did you ever have when you're growing up those electronic kits where you'd connect like things together and they have a book and you'd make, uh, you know, something like that? What, you know what I'm talking about? No. Radio Shack? That sounds like a junk toy. It does, it was. But here is the, the more simple version. You just put the wires in. A baby transport device. You could store two babies in there. I, you could store three babies this size. See, he's back, he, he's back to this whole, like, how many babies could the thing <laughs> serve us. John really wants to get value for his baby well, investment. If you, you have one baby now, you're not sure if you're going to have 35 babies in a year. Then <laughs> you, I'm really following that logic. They're like, you know, kids love baskets. Because there's a lot of baskets, and they don't want to take up the valuable space inside. You know how much fun basket's a kid, kind of a slow-moving item. You know how much fun a kid can have with a basket? A small amount. I mean, you can put things in the basket, take things out of the basket. I thought it was almost a stroller, but then like the construction is nowhere near good enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna bend down to push my kid like this. It's a real pretend stroller. This this company that yep. makes this carrier for Bobby makes doll carriers for children. So that you can be sort of like a nesting doll. So when you're walking around with like baby number two, your baby number one can walk around with their dolly. With, with their baby number three. It's the second second baby. This low quality Elmo. It looks like Abo Elmo. <laughs> Let's throw this Elmo in the bushes right now and see how he fares Whoa. in a few years. Oh, that's a decade. Cool, Nina. So it's good enough for the other Elmo, but not this Elmo. How about a board game called Be Safe? Where? Teaches children to oh understand the difference between healthy and unhealthy touching. Oh, that's like school guidance counselor level board game. That's awful. I'd rather play Stampin'. No, look, this whole thing, assert with love. I, I think it may be just from a troubled home. We tried to play the board games and work through the problems. <laughs> But we had to just give them to the church. A boy or a girl? A girl. A girl. So sweet. Girl. Thank you. I mean, how do you feel about all the baby attention? It's not for me. <laughs> I think that might be all for me. I think I've seen it all. Obelisk, a couple of Christmas items, so we got this. Well, you gotta go inside and look at the silent auction and uh, get yourself some pastries you're not gonna like. Yeah, as, as per typical. I forgot that they have that out in the middle of everywhere changing table. I could have brought her diaper bag and changed her right here. She probably is due for a change. I may do it, I may test the table. I don't see how we're gonna smash the patriarchy unless we buy her this tool set. I think he is so cute. Biscuit loves the library. Mm -hmm. Gus was a friendly ghost. Was? Gus? What happened to him? Oh my god. Well, no, first of all, he should be, is a friendly ghost. Right. He was a friendly guy. Yeah. Gus was a friendly Gus guy. <laughs> Gus was sick. <laughs> sour Patch watermelons, that is the ideal Sour Patch configuration in yeah. the watermelon shape. And then raisinets, pretty strong snack. And then there's Junior Mints in the back. This person's movie night is rocking. In my pre-vegan days, raisinets and goobers, I love both. You know what's awesome? Super salty popcorn and raisinets. Because they just keep balancing each other out. If you want to burn your mouth out of your face, super salty popcorn and Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done that. It's We've gotten crazy. It's intense. You drool for days. Swedish Fish, Sour Patch Kids. Wonderful. I don't know about this Mike and Eggs in the back. I know. think at some point you need a chocolate candy. You're just going to go all fruit candy. No, no, no. Nay, nay. <laughs> they are sold out of the apple pies, the salmon pies, and the cherise pies already. How do you know that? Dude? There's heard, no sign in. I heard the woman talking about it as I came in. I was considering a cherise pie. Now I'm not. Well, they're not available. I know. Now I'm not considering it. Should we say goodbye? This is known as your favorite church fair. It's very close to my house. Number two, there's very convenient parking if I get here 10 minutes early. Number three, Grandma's Attic is pretty great. Number four, 
there's, there's malas adich, and they are very reasonably priced, and the price hasn't increased in my lifetime. <laughs> Number five, there are many, many seats. I can say at any point. Yeah, the little Compton one, you get a little bit like, you might not have a seat for a while. No, you gotta find like a wall in the cemetery to sit on. So far, this is also Gloria's favorite church fair. Yeah, her very, her very first. Yeah. Very baby's first. And church therefore, fair. favorite. <laughs>